Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth and say hello again to uh, Mr. Green Man. Hey Mr. Green Man, please bless this run. Don't provide too many pixelations. JLNBDMY3. I'm just gonna, if we act like he's not even there, it's like he's not even there, but he's there. Oh, lordy lordy, look who's 40. You know what, I really do think, it's like, it's triggered by like moving parts and particle effects or something like that. That doesn't mean that it's Rebirth's problem. It might just be, you know, symptomatic. It's like, oh, it's overloading the VRAM or something like that. I don't know. See, that's why I, I said I don't know is because I actually don't know. But uh, we'll we'll sort it out. I'm just going to knock this one out and we'll hopefully say goodbye to Mr. Green Man as a, re oh. as a recurring character. And then we will... Uh, Begin the new phase of our life in which Mr. Green Man is just a distant memory and this computer actually works, uh, you know, as intended and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, uh, the, those are not gonna be the secret rooms. No, oh, thank you, Mr. Green. Thank, thank, Mr. Green Man. Thank you. This video is not sponsored by Green Man Gaming. That'd be sweet, though, if they wanted, if they want a part of this. I got, boy, do I have a strange tie in promotion for them. Well, have you heard of Mr. Gr Hold up. Have you ever had a video card problem? Before you start uh, making the universe, you gotta make an apple pie. Carl, smoke the grass, Tyson. Let's punch out. Okay, now. Just walk back and forth ever so slightly. One of them seems to have an offset fire rate. But that's all right, he is now deceased, so we don't have to worry about this. And we are Judas. Being Judas is, uh, first off, great new uh, sitcom on Showcase this season. Hope it makes it past uh, pilot season. It deserves it. Kevin Nealon could use a break, let's be honest. It's been a while since Weeds was a hit. Um, then, we're going to blow up this Tinted Rock, even though not all the enemies are dead yet. This is going to provide me with the most incredible benefit. Look at that. It was like one heart, two hearts, just because you were grateful. I appreciate that. Nice in-store discount. Not a second secret room, that's okay. I can live with this. Larry Jr., no other Tinted Rock associated with it, but that's okay. I feel like with this, like, the my hunch or my inclination that particle effects are sort of, or like weird visual filters are sort of causing, or at least exacerbating this problem. Black Candle is all of a sudden like the most valuable item in the game because it provides a stable viewing experience. But uh, now that I think about it, we had that on the last run, but we got it super, oh my lord. What in the world was that? Mr. Green Man is quite irritated today. But that's okay, because he's not even going to exist! What the heck? It's like the most incredible shot I've ever seen. It was a perfect uh, fuck you arc, basically. I can't even get into that yet. Um, I'm, I don't feel like we wasted a bomb to kill that guy. That's like my... It's one of the very few rooms in Isaac... Or in Rebirth, I should say, because there's more in, in the vanilla version of the game. It's one of the very few rooms where I'm like, this one is a little bit poorly designed. Exclusively on hard mode, because you're so... Hello, 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 Mr. Green Man. You're so likely to get a champion that you're just like... You know, what's what's the point? You know what, I'm going to come in here um, and, and try to get something. We got Gimpy out of it, which feels awesome. And then we'll leave... And we don't have to worry about having a spirit art to protect our life as long as we think we won't die. Because we will get to deal with the devil regardless. And the Gimpy pickup definitely fits in on a Judas run. Because it fits in on every run. It's it's good. It's just a good item. Uh, it it <laughs> took a little while for me to realize it was good. But it's good. Uh, very poor damage on my part there. I think that's fair to say. Uh, hopefully our luck is high enough that we stand a good chance to get a red heart from Gimpy at some point. More valuable than getting a key to get into our item room, at least, you know, directly. Oh, this is pretty sweet, though. I will say I was a slight bit worried that maybe we would, uh... There we go, thank you. Uh, we would have the, the homing bomb attack one of these freaking jerk-off enemies, and then it would hit us in the process. So I probably shouldn't have even put it down, but... We got lucky. Didn't bite us in the butt. Uh, this is probably our second, or regular secret room, and I got extremely lucky that homing bombs didn't... Screw me out of that one either. This is a terrible damage. I'll apologize for this. Uh, I'll say sorry, Mr. Green Man. We should be okay here. 
We've already fought Larry Jr. That's not really like we've knocked out a difficult boss. Thank God for all the Tinted Rocks we've had so far, because this has been like incredibly sloppy play. I can't deny this in the least. I kind of want to use a bomb to kill this dude. I'm glad we didn't, to be honest with you. Um, watch out, because there are spiked enemies in that item room adjacent area. We'll pick up our item room, and then we'll start to get trucking. This is Proptosis. I 100% guarantee it. It's actually Crystal Ball. Did I even show the seed? JLMBDMY3? I think I did. If not, well, there's my, there's my sign to remember it for the future. Crystal Ball obviously doesn't provide us with a long-term benefit, but I'm just happy we got it in the first place. Like, I can, I can live with it. Giving us a little bit of mapping, which is useless for us here. Giving us a little bit of spirit heart action. We traded a key for a spirit heart. That's not that bad. That's not our secret room either. But there... Oh, no, there's not a tinted rock there. I'm just, like, I'm striking out on all fronts today. You know, striking out has really terrible connotations, but what if you're a pitcher? Everything that happens, the guy goes, well, I struck out everywhere today. And then, you know, Randy Johnson is like, nice, dog! And he's like, oh, right, sorry. Sometimes, because of my job, I forget how that idiom is applied. I doubt it. He seems like a pretty erudite individual. He's all into photography now and stuff. Um, we're gonna take Lord of the Pit. This is extremely dangerous, but sometimes I feel like when you fly by the seat of your pants, you're more likely to get a good pair of jeans. You know, you're, you're likely to get, find yourself set up in a run that you're actually fond of. Um, there's some risk associated with it. There's some inherent risk. Got Mr. Mega. Mr. Mega, on its own, especially with us at 1 HP, I probably would not have picked up except for the fact that we also have homing bombs. So I'm like, you know what? Homing Mr. Mega is, uh, is okay. It's, it's worth, uh... It's worth taking a, an extra trip for, you know? It's worth paying for parking. You know, it's worth ordering the extra guac. It's worth getting the deluxe package. It's worth getting the D-Box seats. You ever actually watch a movie in D-Box? I, I saw Ant-Man in D-Box. You might be wondering what D-Box is, in case you're not familiar. It's basically, um, there's like a special row of seats. That are, I mean, a lot of theaters, I guess, are reserved now. But they're reserved seating. Because you pay a little extra, and they kind of like roll back and forth. They have, like, pitch and yaw and stuff like that. I saw Ant-Man in it, and you know what? It wasn't extreme enough for me. I'm... Can we just sleep in the bed? Yeah. We'd get three spirit arts out of it, right? I'm just... Oh, Mr... Mr. Green Man does not enjoy the sleeping in the dirty bed. He says, put some sheets on it, you freaking uncouth so-and-so. I need, like, if I'm gonna pay, like, $3 extra for D-Box, I need it to be extreme. Like, when Paul Rudd jumps into a bath drain as Ant-Man, I want it to turn me, like, 45 degrees upside down. That's not actually that much rolling, I guess, but, you know, I don't want to spill my popcorn out of it. not be, that was $13 in and of itself, but, um, I, I want to, I want it to be extreme, but instead, thank you, Mr. Green Man. Thank, thank you, Mr. Green Man. Mr. Green... What is, oh, and then there's like a freaking, like an electric coil or something. You see that? That was interesting. The coil is now gone. But, uh, yes. Long story short, Ant-Man's pretty funny. It's also got some, it's got some thrills, it's got some Jackson Jills, it's got some, something that's fun for the whole audience. Unless you hate fun, in which case it's got nothing for you. Well, there are some parts maybe that you're not you you'd, you'd be fine. There's some there's some horror. There's some drama. There's some uh, expressionist French New Wave uh, Francois Truffaut style uh, stylings, without a doubt. Of course, you know, coming from Edgar Wright. It's got it all. It's it's got the the charm of a Shaun of the Dead mixed with the gravitas of a Schindler's List. I would know. I don't, I would not hesitate to say that. Not in the least. Okay, we have a deal with the devil coming up. We have no red hearts. So our dream situation here is a deal with the devil that doesn't cost us anything, aka free red chests. We already have precedent, so it doesn't matter that much. Uh, a deal with the devil that gives us HP, nine lives, the mark, the pact, Abaddon, etc., etc. Um, or uh, Krampus fights. Or HP before the fight, or before the room, and then a Krampus fight. So now we are a little bit more survivable, uh, and also don't have to pay anything for this deal with the devil, which is also acceptable. Lump of coal here would be pretty good, but I think we're cooking with gas. We got some, we got some okay damage going oh, on here, and uh, lump of coal. There's nothing wrong with the little lumps. You ever like your mashed potatoes? Uh, you get some lumps in your mashed potatoes? Nothing wrong with that. I don't know what they're made of, and you know what, to be honest with you, I don't care. 
Doesn't matter to me. Um, put, oh, that was suboptimal, but we learned something, right? We have Samson's chain. We don't need to necessarily, oh, yes, this is Caves 2. We got shot speed and a tarot card, and the tarot card is the moon, which is actually, okay, let's not do that, is actually extremely valuable, because we are ahead of schedule for, for boss rush. Maybe by, like, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, something like that, we're not in a bad position relative to, you know, where we could be, so... I'm feeling pretty good about that. We used our last key to get into this room and get tough love, which means we have a second reason to uh, care about our luck stat. If we can get our luck stat uh, cranking higher, we get better gimpy payouts. Obviously, more chances of a chest, or an extra chest on the chest, and uh, also... We have uh, the, the tough love bonus now. And it's not insignificant, you know, those shots deal a lot of damage, which is why most of the time I try to just completely brick every single one of them into the wall without touching an enemy, because it just wouldn't be fair, you know? If I was dealing, uh, if I was dealing this much damage to enemies, they would, like, we gotta have a, a balance in the world somehow, you know? Speed down. Luck up. Puberty. The moon. My eyes. There's a freaking, you know, green light from the Great Gatsby. Spoilers, the book was published in 1927. Uh, spoilers, I haven't read it. Oh, I was gonna read it right after this video, Northern Lion. You spoiled it for me. I've been meaning to read that book for 12 years. I really wanted to do it. I just haven't found the time yet. Yeah, I, I buy it. I buy it. I didn't have to buy it, actually. I think we watched it on Netflix. I thought it was uh, like a 5 out of 10. But that's the movie itself. The book, you know, you can you can read if you want to. You could leave your friends behind. We're just going to leave because I don't really have enough money to make the shop worthwhile. I already been to the curse room. Nine lives is a great item, especially considering we only had one HP anyway. It looks like we got a really good chance of getting to Boss Rush. I like this. Boss Rush is not a, a displeasing uh, experience for me. You know, kind of seeing like a scan lines like I'm recording this on a freaking Todd, like 1990s talk boy. That's, that's pretty infuriating. Yeah, I wouldn't dispute that at all. Hello. I mean, I've had Rebirth episodes where like there's a fire alarm and I evacuated the building. Bad Rebirth episodes where there's been drilling on the roof. You'll excuse me if this doesn't seem like the most colossal problem we've ever had uh, in the course of our our young lives here. You know, but if you will give me a second, let's do this. Let's check out Speed Fan. Maybe it's a temperature-related issue. You'll, pr you know, keep in mind they only show up after a lot of play most of the time anyway. So you'll forgive me that taking a moment here to do a di diagnostic test that helps both of us. Speed Fan. You want to take bets on how hot the GPU is right now? I'm starting to think it's not even a GPU problem. It might be motherboard related. Um, my GPU, I don't, I don't, can't touch this. My GPU still loading. I don't, can't touch this. It is. If you said 69, you are wrong. It's 70. But this, uh, this card is graded to to run like optimally at 75 or something ridiculous like that. Like it runs up to 90, I think. Or 110, maybe. I can't remember. Doesn't matter, because it's about to one, you know, run uh, 110 miles an hour into the trash can. I'm not actually going to throw it out. It's a sizable investment in my professional life. Um, uh, the keyboard got stuck there for a second, but I don't care, because we got Cricket's head. And Cricket's head makes up for a lot of problems in this life. You can solve anything if you've got enough damage. Yeah, that's right. You get stuck on this track right here. Speed down. How are we looking on time? Uh, we want to be out of here within the next four and a half minutes, which is plenty of time. Ooh, very optimal uh, explosion radius there. Gets two extra bombs and a penny as well. With these guys dead, we'll hope that, uh, you know, our, our bad luck for deals with the devil is over now that we've got nine lives. Not that that affects it, it's just like, hey, we've... We fought Krampus already. We got a guppy item. Let's get this whole guppy thing on the road. I would love it, you know, if we could become the gupster. That would make up for Mr. Greenman's relatively prodigious appearance in the past two episodes. I don't know why it shows up sometimes and doesn't show up other times. If I knew that, I could I could start to work on diagnosing a problem. We definitely want the Joker card instead. It, it's not necessarily a straight upgrade. You know, a quote-unquote strictly better version of the moon. But we can use it in a way that makes it better. Um... Although we are going to get a deal with the devil regardless, thanks to uh, 
thanks to the the Book of Belial, just ignore him. He's not even there. Excuse me. Can I borrow a cup of haunted sugar? No, Mr. Green Man. All right, back to your regularly scheduled room. Crack a joke about how his hair looks like he has a jerry curl. You can tie it into the Chappelle Show episode where he says he plays in the game against Prince in basketball. Oh, okay, Mr. Green Man. Thanks for your feedback. It's much appreciated. Um, oh, I was watching a Madness video the other day. This is how you know. I'm like, you know, we're friends. We like each other, I hope. I like him anyway. I don't really care if he likes me because he's... He just works with me anyway, you know? We're just, we're work friends, that's okay. Um, but, uh, he made a joke. He was playing The Escapist, The Walking Dead, and he said, I'm Rick Grimes, bitch. And then he was like, that joke's so old, nobody probably gets it. What are you talking about? It's like one of the most popular shows in, like, the, the most recent generations. Everyone knows Chappelle Show. Everyone knows I'm Rick James, because I'm Rick James, bitch, is literally the, the sketch that push Dave Chappelle over the edge because of how popular it became. And he was tired of people saying I'm Rick James bitch to him in public. It was literally like one of the most well-known sketch comedy bits of all time. What are you talking Rick Grimes bitch? Nobody will get that one. Oh please Mathis, uh, entertain me more with your lesser known bon mots. Anyway, I'm, I'm just, I'm talking shit. He was in the moment, but it's funny to, it's funny to put him on blast. I'm sure if people, well, I know it happens to me. I'll watch, well, I'll watch stream chat while I'm streaming and people like repeat something I said and be like, how baked is Ryan right now? The answer is always zero baked. I'm not, I'm not a baked guy. I'm not a cookie. I'm not a pastry or a croissant of any sort. And don't give me that. Uh, I'll take tea, baby. It's not good, but we'll take it anyway. Um, give a permanent Polaroid invincibility, right? People say, whoa, yeah, you're not baked. That's what someone who's baked would say. Look, that's you've you've painted me into a corner. There's no way that I could So everybody's baked? If if you talk to the Pope and you say, Hey, Mr. Pope, you baked? And he goes, No. And then you're like, Oh he thinks the Pope doth protest too much, right? Like isn't that the logic does not apply. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I hate sauerkraut. And that's what I'm really trying to say here. And <laughs> Uh, probably wasn't helping my case too much, but it is a deep cut, 11 minute Albuquerque reference. Weird Al Yankovic running with scissors. Check it. One of the hottest hip hop albums of the 1990s. Um, we're gonna, you know, I mean, it's the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You heard of this game? We're gonna fight Mom probably on this floor. I was thinking about it at least, and probably like do boss rush as well. Then we'll teleport into the deal with the devil via the Joker. Now I think about it as like the moon card is probably better because it does give us access to the secret room instead of a, a devil room we were already going to access regardless. But then that also forces me into backtracking and I'm not that interested in that. I'd rather kind of just be there. Uh, I'd rather just walk into the fire if possible. I'd rather just say thank you to Mr. Green Man for choosing to bless us with his presence and then... It actually hasn't been that that bad. I mean, I mean... Any any existence of Mr. Green Man is suboptimal, but he hasn't been like dominating the video. It's not like half the video looks like shit. It's just like you know, literally like one percent. But it's an incredibly annoying one. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dog? Did you say the one percent? I hate those guys. Why are they disproportionately taxed relative to the other math? I know, dude. You talk about this all the time, Mr. Green Man. You like this new joke that I have? Of, I, I've empowered myself by referring to Mr. Green Man basically just as a uh, as an annoying roommate, because then he has no power over me. It's just like, yeah, he's sort of here. It's shitty. Like he, he listens to like really loud music at 3 a.m. Nobody knows why. It's like to prove something. It's like he obviously knows how loud it is, but he listens to it just because like I don't even think he's being inconsiderate. I think he just wants you to be like, yeah, dude, Metallica. You know, right? Yeah, it deserves to be listened to loud. Well, sure, dog. That's cool. I gotta sleep too, though. You think like. Fucking, the members of Metallica don't sleep. You think they're out rocking? They're like 50 years old. They're buying shit from, you know, fucking Brooks Brothers. All right, they're taking their sons out fishing. They need some sleep. They gotta get up bright and early. You're living the lifestyle long after they are. Sad bombs is really cool. Blank card Joker, relatively meaning for us. Like I like all of these actually. Weirdly enough, I think I may go technology. I know that sounds ridiculous. 
but uh, wind technology is going to lower our damage but give us piercing shots openings to cool synergies i will admit probably you got to think that sad bombs was maybe like the consensus number one choice there because it just fits in over top of what we already have and makes it more fun it makes our bombs extremely potent but uh I, I'm gonna go with technology here, and you know what? So far, I've not really regretted my decision. We're doing good damage. It's easy enough to hit enemies regardless, and, uh, you know, it only takes three or four shots to kill a gurgling. I can live with that. It actually only takes, like, two shots to kill a gurgling. I can do that. Oh, whoa, we have just won the run with Dark Bomb in hell, and then there's Internet Boo. A couple episodes ago, I said I'd take any opportunity to sing. I won't do that by, or I would do anything for love, but I won't do that by Meatloaf. Do you think I was lying? Any opportunity. It's written into my contract with Beelzebub, the Prince of Darkness. I don't need that. I would do anything for hearts except for things involving farts, but I just won't open that. I would do it. <laughs> That's going to be stuck in my head again for weeks now. Just like thirsty. I won't, you know, uh, I won't inconvenience you by getting thirsty stuck in your head again, but just by saying its name, you know it. You can hear it in your head. You got it. I'm not even going to go all the way there. Um, sure, let's throw, a, yeah, let's just, uh, completely shit on our ability to finish this room without getting hit for no reason. Should blow those up when we have invincibility. Just so that we can get, oh, it really dislikes that room. It's like a lot of spikes on the ground. Hey, excuse me, um, new egg. It seems like my video card throws, like, visual static on the screen. Whenever there's a lot of spikes on the ground in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, you guys ever had this issue show up? No, it doesn't show up when I'm playing. It's exclusively in recording software. Which, again, now I'm like, it's a don't be a fucking idiot. It's a video codec issue, NL. It's a video codec issue. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Fucking computers, man. Can't live with them, can't live without them, you know? I'll be, tip your waitresses. Try the steak tarts are. That's the joke that you do when you make a bad joke. Conquest. This is like super not what I want right now. But with Book of Belial and whatever Skinny Odd Mushroom, or sorry, whatever uh, Liberty Cap gave us here, which I'm pretty sure is Skinny Odd Mushroom, we are going to town. And of course we get to deal with the devil, and we've already taken it. Right, okay. We must have gotten teleported and I sort of forgot. That's okay. I mean, okay, really dislikes that effect as well, Mr. Green. It's like, it's so weird that when we go to a new room, it always resolves itself. Again, let me apologize on behalf of myself for this issue. It is, you know, it's within my own control. It's not like I'm causing it, but it is, you know, I, I guess literally within my control to stop it somehow, but... We'll, we'll be, I'll be doing so as soon as this episode ends, never fear. And then hopefully we won't be literally repeating exactly the same process again tomorrow. Of spending three hours RMAing a card that apparently did not need to be RMA'd. What does RMA mean? I'm sure some people have asked this. It means, uh, it means, uh, Ryan's mom's anus. We take the card and we insert it. Right up into Mama NL's butthole, um, and she opens her mouth, and a new version comes out. Come to think of it, that would probably explain why this one has the same problem as the last one, and also why it smelled so bad. Um, that was, I love my mom. I, she, I hope she won't mind that I used her as the butt of that joke. Hey, I'll be here all week. Uh, tip your waitresses. Try the shrimp cocktail. We're trying to sell whatever, whatever's going bad soon. Me and this failing restaurant slash entertainment house are in cahoots together. We're splitting the profits down the middle. Dean Domino, baby! Alright, we are we are now about to fight Mom. I mean, can't complain. These have been exceptionally fast rebirth runs. Man, you really do not like Mom's heart, huh? You are like super pissed off that we're fighting Mom's heart right now. I can't blame you. It's not my favorite fight in the game either. But you know what? It's not that far off. I can... I kind of like it. I like these multi-phase fights. I really like the Satan fight. I wish there was more impetus to actually do it, but I'm sure that'll come in Afterbirth. Not my favorite video artifacts there. 
My favorite video artifacts are the kinds that Indiana Jones puts on his YouTube channel. Hey guys, what's up? This is Indy. Uh, I was just at the, the, the cave of the Sumatran monkey and uh, check it out. It's a golden chalice. I praise this at like an 8 out of 10. This definitely, uh, you know, belongs in a museum. Uh, so we're going to do the unboxing here. We're going to open up the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. I just got this from uh, the Jakarta Artifact Trade Show last... This joke could just... I could stick in that character for probably about 45 minutes. Because it's already... It's basically just myself plus a YouTuber. See, the joke is that I'm Indiana Jones. It's not... No, it's... It's, it's myself plus Indiana Jones. I don't know why I put on that voice, though. Like, that voice is neither myself nor Indiana Jones. That's the voice that you do when you're a self-loathing YouTuber. And you have to, you know, be like, Hey, guys, make fun of my career. Yeah, I deserve it. Because you guys pay my salary indirectly. You get the idea. Now. You will be killed. You will drop a spirit heart. You will feed my friend who will drop another spirit heart. And we'll move on here. And I think this is probably the right way. I'm going to use Book of Allow more often. I always say that. It's like my New Year's resolution for the past three years running. Um, but... I gotta knock this one out, and then we'll get to work on, you know, run a half marathon. Um, actually, like, I this time last year, don't think this is bragging, because I'm very out of shape now, but this time last year, I was, like, super into running. The point where I was actually running actively, like, 30 to 40 miles a week. Which, you know, you convert that into kilometers. Now I'm like, shit, why did I put that into kilometers? Okay, you know, it was actually, like, 40 to 50 kilometers a week, because it was, like, you know, I was running 10k... Uh, every other day and sometimes two days in a row. But anyway, I was gonna do a half marathon, and I told people I was gonna do a half marathon, and then I was running some of the trails out in Vancouver, and I tore my meniscus. And you, now, whenever I tell people, like, it still acts up from time to time. It's not as bad as it was even six months ago. Like, I couldn't walk downstairs. But Kate and I, you know, I'll, people will be like, hey, you still running? Well, looks like you put on a few pounds. And I'm like, actually, I tore my meniscus. And they're like, oh, yeah, I tore my meniscus, too. I'm like, no, you don't understand, like, I literally, like, I tore, there's like a, there's like a sheath of tendon in my knee, and I, it's all ripped up, and they're like, yeah, dude, so probably, like, even Cade's doctor was like, so probably, like, it's just a little bit of lack of motivation, right? It's like, there's lack of meniscus! There's a, <laughs> there's a lack of, you're a doctor! Anyway, and I was like, yeah, I'm just lazy, because if I actually told her that my meniscus was like, really, genuinely, please believe me, super fucked up, she'd be like, ah, oh, it's physical therapy, we're gonna actually fix your problem. Instead, uh, this way, I just get to live like, uh, live like this forever, and I have a great excuse not to run. Which is a shame, because I actually liked running a lot, but anyway. This is not, um, you know, Ryan's personal problems hour. It's not like, a, it's not like I'm in chronic pain or anything like that. It's just something, when I'm going downstairs, and it's rainy, and I've been walking a lot, all of a sudden it's like, Phew! you know the picture, you know, like the stock image of the man, um, holding his heart like he's having a heart attack? That's, that's what my knee does now and then. But it's probably fine. So why, why did I take Libra? Because it's ridiculous. And, you know, we have Book of Belial, which is basically like an all stats up on a room. Which is really funny to me. Uh, we also got Polyphemus, which is just an enormous all stats upgrade, I guess. Except, now that I think about it, is Polyphemus even that good with Libra? Because it is a big damage up, but it's also a, a relatively large tears down, right? So... Maybe that actually didn't provide us with that much from an all stats perspective, but it really has like seemingly drastically increased our rate of fire, which is very confusing for me, given what I just said. Even though I know we have Libra and things balance, I don't know. Let me put it this way, if our rate of fire is this good, our damage must be great, right? Like we're still, our rate of fire is like directly equal to our damage. That's a very confusing sentence to say, but it, it, it's that's the way it is, right? Pardon me? As our luck stat wasn't part of that balancing, because we're not really, you know, balling out of control with respect to that right now. Life goes on, though. Long after the thrill of living is gone. Um, that was a, that was a reference to Built to Spill, not a, you know, glaring indictment of the state of my life. I know it's like when someone tells you everything's fine, the inclination is to be like, yeah, right, dog. If everything was fine, you'd say something was wrong. No, I, everything in my life is actually fine. 
This is like when I first moved to Vancouver and I had so many computer problems. I was like, you know, I was still like new to the YouTube scene, not this grizzled old fucking cynical veteran you see in front of you today. And I was like, if I don't upload videos for one day, it's the dream is dead. But now, it's not really like that. You know, I know there's gonna be an audience there, and I'm I'm putting that stuff on YouTube anyway, and. You know, I'm not sweating the small stuff, and it's all small stuff, except for some of the stuff, which is large stuff. Hey, Kate, say hello to Mr. Green Man. Mr. Green Man is the ghost of my computer that makes Pixel show up on the screen sometimes. I've turned my disability into a character, so that we can all make fun of it and bond together. <laughs> not that much. What? Do you see this? It's got a circle on it now. It's highlighting. It wants me to dig there. What is it, Mr. Green Man? Timmy's stuck in the well? I don't know, sometimes, some rooms it does that. Some rooms it has like an X. Some rooms it has a Y. I think you're losing your mind. What are you talking about? Are you okay? I'm, I get some mashed potatoes. I gotta sculpt, uh, I gotta sculpt the Monument Valley here in the, in the kitchen. That's what Nick said. Nick watched, uh, Nick watched uh, yesterday's Rebirth episodes. And he was like, you know, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. And I was like, what? And he's like, yo, just like you sound like you're on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I'm actually not on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I feel pretty good. I what? Why is this so surprising? You're talking to something that's not there. It's, it's not like I literally think my computer is possessed by the ghost of Mr. Green Man. Although I have concocted a surprisingly elaborate backstory for him, or it, in my head. Um... I just turned it into a character so that we can dispose of it together. As a, as a couple. As, Don't drag me into as, this. My, as my wife for now and forever. Till death do us part. Right, Mr. Green Man? Right? <laughs> blink white blink once if Kate's the problem. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my what is it, Mr. Green Man? Poison her meatloaf? No! I couldn't possibly. But if you say so... <laughs> Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, Mr. Green Man. Are you... Okay, as long as you're seeing those pixels, I'm not losing my mind. If you're not seeing those pixels, we gotta go see a doctor immediately. But... If you're seeing those pixels, this is just me putting on a, a nice murder mystery show for, for myself here. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm going to go convince my wife I'm of sound mental state. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. You too, Mr. Green Man. Stop blinking if, you, if you're real.